Welcome back to another King of the Outdoors. Right now it is 5.43 in the morning. I just got up and I'm getting ready to go fishing. I actually had to put my bag together, which I just finished doing here. And basically what I got in it is some Berkeley County Bass Boys soft plastics. Uh, I actually got these in the mail yesterday. I just didn't unbox them on camera because... I've been doing a lot of unboxings lately, but this is the color I designed for them, Hard Candy. Really excited to try it today, so we're going to be trying it out. And we're going to be trying out a new color they came out with called Worm Jelly. So, yeah, and I keep them in this little container. I don't, I don't even know why. I just keep them in here. And I have this MTB Pro box, which I won from Grand Lake Bass Hunter. And we have some of the baits he sent me in here. I have some baits I put in here just to have them in here. Wacky rig hoops, red eye shabs. I actually got that from Gander Mountains the other day. They had it on sale. If you don't know, Gander Mountains is having a total liquidation. It's where they sell everything in the store. And it's 90% off. So I basically, well not 90, but it's 70% off. So I got it basically for dirt cheap. So I had to pick up two of those. I actually got one in Orange Belly Crawl. And that right there is Neon Bluegill. So I got my main Plano box. Um, I got some jig heads, KVD splash popper, some beetle spins, some cream. These are the cream lures paddle tails, like the dollar twenty two pack you can get from Walmart. Both in actually really love these things, so I have I picked up some yesterday. Um, that's a rattle trap, and that's a KVD square bill, live target frog, spro frog. Gamagatsu hooks, Lunker Hook Frog. I got these in the giveaway from Grab Life by the Fish, and he said this is year time. He said this is his all around favorite lure to use all throughout the year, so I'm gonna give these a try. And then I got my jerk baits. The bass, uh, besides the top water, the top water bite in the morning time. Well, right now I actually have a whopper plopper tied onto my pole, but besides top water and the whopper plopper and top water frogs, the only thing I can basically catch these bass on are jerk baits, so I've had to make sure I broke those. Um, last time I was there, I was fishing with this one right here, but I didn't bring this one. If I would have brought this one, I would have caught more fish because the fish were a little finicky, but I don't know. So, I'm getting ready to leave now. Um, I'm biking there because I just got a new bike, so hopefully we get there to my fishing spot here. And I just caught a, ni a nice little start of the day on the waffle plopper. And there's two beavers here in front of me. There goes one there and one just went down right there. And that's actually a really big beaver. Um, I didn't, act I actually didn't know there was beaver in here. So this is the first time I've seen them. And it looks like they're trying to mate. I'm not for sure, but they're rubbing up next to each other. So I don't know. Maybe they're mating. I don't know. Comment below, guys. Is it mating season for beavers in North Carolina? But I'm going to get this guy taken off the hook and get the release. Okay, so I did bring a bucket. I'm going to put this bass in the bucket. But if I catch a bigger bass, I'm going to cool him out and put the bigger one in the bucket. Because I am trying to stock a pond right now. And if I catch a nice bass, I will take him home. I haven't made up my mind whether I'll take that or not. But until I make up my mind, I'm going to put him in that bucket. If I do release him, I will get the release on camera. So keep fishing in see if we can't get us another fish on the whopper plopper. I can see it like right over there in the center of the camera but I'm throwing across this trash that's in the water and just pulling it to me and the first time I threw it over there I seen a big wave come to the bait and then I threw it over there a second time and this guy right here absolutely hammered it um I've had one other fish follow the wall whopper plopper up um he was about as big as the one I got in the bucket this one ain't quite that big so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hook out of him and get the release on him So we're going to keep fishing and see if we can get us another fish on the whopper plopper until I switch to a jerk bait. Guys, I'm officially depressed. I just lost about a five or six pound bass right there. He completely hammered it. I've been meaning to change out the treble hooks on this whopper plopper and this might have been a lesson learned. I'm definitely changing out the hooks on this bait. It looked like he completely slammed it. I don't know what happened. But that was a big bass. It was a really big bass for this place. Um, I don't even know what to say, guys. That was a really big bass. I mean, he completely slammed it. 
how he got unhooked, I'd never know. That was a big bass, guys. Well, at least I know they're here now. I've seen bass that was about three or four pounds in here. But not no, not nothing like that, but... Well, just keep fishing and maybe we can get another one. But I highly doubt I'll hang in anything that big again. So I just cut a nice bow fin here. I'm about to get the pliers, get the hooks out of him, get him uh, fixed up here, get the hooks out of him, and then I'll let y'all guys have a better look at him. He's a nice size bow fin for this creek. And right down there is where I just lost the bow fin, and I was throwing my bait down there and retrieving it this way. So it could be the same fish, uh, but I'm about to go ahead and get the hooks out of this guy, and I'll show y'all the release. Guys, so there he is right there. Just finished taking a few pictures, and I haven't had this guy out the water very long. These are really tough fish. I've seen them survive out the water for 10 minutes, and I've only had him out the water probably not even a minute. So we're going to go ahead and drop him down here and get the release. Really beautiful fish right there. Really nice fish for this uh, creek, ditch, whatever you want to call it. Really nice fish for this um, place. Uh, I haven't caught a bow fin that big out of here. Duh. That's the first one I've caught that big. I've caught two smaller bow fin, but that was a really nice bow fin right there. But yeah, I'm glad I could catch him. Now, maybe I can catch a big bass. I would like to catch a nice sized bass. Um, but if I keep catching bow fin, I wouldn't mind that either. But I'm going to keep fishing and see if we can't get us another fish. Okay, so I got a few tips for y'all guys when y'all are fishing for bow fin. So tip number one, when y'all are fishing with both in, especially when you're fishing for them with top water baits with treble hooks, I would always recommend having a pair of pliers because both in have really tough mouth and it's really hard to get the pliers out with your hands. Uh, I know this from experience because I've caught them before and didn't have pliers and it actually took me a while to get the hook out of their mouth. So yeah, pliers is kind of a nis a no necessity. A necessity, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. And another thing is, always use a wire leader. I know right now I'm not using a wire leader, and I almost lost that fish, guys. Because as y'all can see here, there's a brick right there, and the fish came upside the bank and was trying to run into the bank. My line was rubbing all up the edge of this rock. And I mean, the line was extremely frayed. Um, That, that kind of hurried me to get the fish in so he wouldn't break my line, and I wouldn't lose a $12 bait. Well, actually, thirteen dollars, twelve ninety nine. But yeah, those are two tips I got for y'all guys. A net wouldn't hurt if y'all got a net. Um, that would help. It would help y'all get some bigger size bow fin in. Cause if you hang a 10, 11 pound bow fin, it's gonna be really hard to land him with your bare hands when you're fishing on like kind of a steep bank like I am now. I had a really hard time landing that fish cause all this vegetation right here. But yeah, that's just a couple tips, guys. I don't know. I just figured y'all might want to know it but i'm gonna keep fishing here try to catch another boat fin maybe catch a big bass a little bass it really doesn't matter made a switch to the little rapala rapala x wrap and clown and i first cast i caught this nice little bass here and i actually think this might be bigger than the one i got in the bucket i'm gonna go get a size check right quick and if not we'll definitely get the release on this guy um but yeah first cast on the jerk bait and i got a fish i in the past i've caught some nice fish out of here on a jerk bait so maybe today they're biting jerk bait so we had to see so in fact the bass that i just caught it was bigger than the one i had in the bucket this is the first fish i caught on the whopper plopper i'm gonna go ahead and get the release on him and i'm gonna go back down here and get fishing because it kind of looks like it's gonna rain and i want to make the most of this day guys so i'm about to go to the new spot and i'm gonna go ahead and release this fish because in the new spot i'm going to i'm pretty sure i'll catch a bigger fish so i'm gonna go ahead and release this guy and go over here and the car is about to go by so the audio probably won't be the best but nice little bass there he's got some dark spots on him up on his like in front of his fins there on his back but nice looking fish go ahead get the release on him there caught him on that little rapala jerk bait um i didn't get no more bites on it i've been fish fishing it for about 30 minutes so i'm about to go ahead and make the move to the new spot um, guys i just made it to the new pond tied on the whopper plopper 
and about a third cast. I mean, this huge. Um, I don't exactly know what kind of sunfish this is. I'll look it up and put it on the screen right about now. But this is absolutely, this is a nice sunfish. I'm actually going to put this in my bucket and take it home and put it in my pond. Because I try to stock it with big fish and this is definitely worthy of being put in my pond. So yeah, a nice sunfish here on the Whopper Plopper. Okay, so I've made it to my pond and I got the bluegill here. Well, no, it's not a bluegill. It's some type of, um, I believe it might be a shell cracker. I don't know for sure. Like I said, I'll put the tide up on the screen. And there goes two nice bass right there. I don't know if y'all can see them. It's like right there swimming in between the moss. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get the release on this, uh, sunfish. Walk down here where I can set her in the water. Let her get used to her new home. And this sunfish is really skinny, so there obviously wasn't much to eat in that old pond. So I'm putting her in a new pond now. She should fatten up in no time. There's plenty of minnows and every, And a, a bass just got, went through there and tried to eat a tiny brim. I don't know whether y'all can see over there side that pole, but a bass just tried to destroy a bluegill over there. What's up, kitty? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the release on this. She's swimming off real good. And, yep, it looks like she didn't have no problem adapting to the new environment. She swam off real good. There's another big uh, bluegill over there. But, yeah, I might come out here and do some fishing. I might go back to that ditch this evening, so I really don't know. And there was a really big bass right there. I don't know whether y'all guys can see him. He's actually coming this way. He's about to come on camera. Yeah. Y'all guys can probably see him real good. He's kind of like right. There goes one right there. And then the big one's right here. He's got his head turned towards me so you can't see him that good. I'm trying to get a good angle on him. Okay, now y'all can see him real good swimming that way. That's actually a really nice bass right there. That other one beside him ain't too big. But I'm about to go ahead, go in the house, get me something to eat do a little chores around the house and I'll probably go back fishing and okay guys so I decided not to go fishing anymore today and if I do I'll put it in another video but I hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like subscribe comment um go check out my other videos go check out my sponsors I'll have their links in the description below but until next time hope you have some good fishing